Hello everyone and welcome back to Winter Small Farms. Um, today I'm just going to do something I've been wanting to do for a while. Just a little bit of a fun project for me. And so I thought I'd share this with you. So today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking this CR990 combine that comes in the New Holland Harvest set and going to be putting some extra detail on it by using this New Holland Farm Show CR890 and I'm going to be borrowing some parts off this and substituting it for parts on this one since I I really want to have a higher detailed CR990 and I really like the CR990 because it's a bigger horsepower machine a little bit more capacity there than the 890 and so I am going to use parts off this Farm show, and I do have two of these. I did buy one for this reason and because I wanted the extra 12 row folding corn head and the 40 foot draper off that. So I'm just going to start tearing these apart. There's uh, screws on the bottom that you'll take out. All right, so. If we look, the undercarriage, the track machines, actually a little bit different. I don't know if you can see that, but right here in the fenders, a little bit different than there. Um, I do like the detail of the feeder house better, but I'm honestly going to probably put this one back on because I like the floaters on this CR990. I'm not sure if I want to do tracks. I don't know. I'll slide later. Let's All right, so as we can see, we got pretty much everything taken apart. I did not take the augers off. You can take those off as well, but I think I'm gonna stick with the ones they have. I don't really think I want the folding auger on this machine. Um, one thing I do not like is I want the handrails on this. And so either I could take this off and glue it. Um, I don't know how else I'm gonna get that off there if, unless I... Yeah, I think what I'll have to do is take an X-Acto knife or something, pop the plastic off right there, and then glue it onto the other one. And then these up here, hmm, don't know what I'll do for that. We'll cross that bridge probably at the end. So first off, um, I think I'm going to put the same hopper that came on it back on it because it does have the twin rotor decal. I do want that. So I'm going to put that one back on. Um, the cab, I want the leather package on it. I think that and the screen is lit up so definitely want this that seat um, want the cab with the mirrors and the lights I'm gonna keep that but um, I'm gonna take that off but probably not in this video um, what else obviously here no-brainer definitely going with the ladder and the flashing lights and the paint detail Look at that detail, that's way better than this. So we're keeping that. Now, um, let's see, do I want tracks or not? Tracks would look pretty sweet. For now, I may change this later, but I think I'm gonna stay, stay true to the old floater tires. Um, Cause I really like the look this combine had. So I think I'm going to go with that. So let's just start putting this back together.
You want to make sure you get all your screws put back in the right spot. Well, I might have messed up on this part. Nope, oh, it still fit. All right, so this is just a quick, um, quick video show you how much better you can make the combine look. I mean, look at the rear end on that ladder, handrails, looks good. Um, interior looks good. We now have the leather seats and the screen is on. We've got mirrors, flashing lights. Um, I'm going to take those words off, but I mean, I'm still going to switch this, but for now, since this video is getting pretty long, just thought I'd show you quick ideas how you can customize some combines and make them look a little better. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.